Due to events transpired I could not foresee, I am sad to say that I need therapy. So please read this notice on your door. If you feel you should stop reading, read some more. Don't say, let's say, too long didn't read, not enough substance on which my mind could feed. My words won't be as great as those of Ovid, but my mind keeps the images lucid. My memory needs no revamping. The events took place while we were camping. Just my uncle, grandfather, and I, on a day I didn't need any shut eye. I had lost some sleep some two days before when I neglected to put sleeping mats on my tent's floor. I did sleep well, however, the night before, because my grandpa bought more mats for the floor. I slept well, although I had a bad dream. It wasn't very scary, didn't make me scream. At my old school, there broke out a brawl, too popular a conflict for me to stall. I suffered no blows in this melee, but emerged with broken teeth anyway. I spat out the diminutive chunks, since not one noticed I thought they were drunks. I scaled the staircase to meet my old Spanish teacher. Little did I know that I was a slow bleeder. My upper left bicuspid was wobbly, so I thoughtlessly pulled it out. I bled so quickly I used my hands to close my mouth. I had pulled it, root and all. My mouth with blood was full. Thus I woke myself. I had slept in an hour late, so I got up, brushed my teeth, made breakfast, ate. The other two were ready for tubing and other boating stuff, so I donned my maroon bathing suit and psyched myself up for loud music titillating and tube toe-line oscillating. My uncle tubed first under the influence of our goad, and with some encouragement too, grandfather rode. My grandfather found the thrash and tumult rejuvenating, but the image of slender old him was that of aging. Grandmother had bidden him regrow his youthful beard. The alabaster hair gave him a look of death by which us is feared. Not so much by me now, I suppose. He ran me up a tree and then took leave, unlike most foes. Just as on to the tube handles I latched, an idea in Grandfather Driver hatched. To go more hastily and make longer turns, so that for a second turn I would not yearn. But my body withstood it, in my grip there was strength to endure for an astonishing length. Thus Grandfather's head to me turned aside, and a mid-turn with another boat did collide. It was such a jerk as this which did cast me aloft that my grip did not prevent me from being thrown off. Although I was spared from the death that they fared, I lost some sanity within the tempest of being scared. I found help in a hamlet, for the lake was desolate, for that day was Tuesday. I would tell you it is not so bad, having almost not been. It's like being thrown for the trash and instead making it into the recycling bin. Water, that giver and taker of life, I hate it now more than world strife. This thirst might be worse than reading dystopia. I know I survived, but have hydrophobia. Pleadingly, I summon you now. I beg of you, please help me. I don't want to die like a castaway on a blurry sea.